guys, it's Mark, aka the Nerdy Punk, back with you again today for a new video. Today's video is going to be a special one, as I am going over <clears throat> to Indianapolis to see Laura Jane Grace uh, of Against Me, her new band called uh, Laura Jane Grace and the Devouring Mothers. So, uh, if you haven't heard of them, definitely go check them out. Uh, I'm sure you're more likely to have heard of the band Against Me, a uh, punk band, Laura Jane Grace, who... Um, uh, made headlines a, a few years ago for coming out as transgender. She uh, she's one of the best musicians like I've ever come across. She's one of my favorite musicians of all time, and uh, she came out with a new band and a new album that's coming out next Friday. Now uh, you can actually listen to the album early on NPR, which is what I've been doing the past couple days, and I absolutely am in love with this album. This album is is quickly climbing up my top uh, top albums of 2018 because it is just so so good. The first few songs I was kind of like, eh, I don't know. There was a really good guitar solo on the first song, second song, and third song that they picked the more country leaning songs, which uh, Bloodshot Records, who's releasing this album, is uh, kind of like an alternative country label uh, with a few punk acts as well. Uh, which is re a really interesting genre, alternative country, because it's like it's like country, but it's more of a like punkish rock uh, tinge to it, which I'm actually kind of liking a lot. And uh, one of the other people who's on the label, Corey Brannon, is the opening act tonight. So I've been listening to a little bit of his stuff. Uh, definitely interested to see him live. I didn't know anything about him until he got announced as the supporting act. So, uh, I definitely came for Laura Jane Grace. Um, the, uh, the other two members of the band, I'm not sure of the one guy's name, the bassist. Uh, I, I'm really bad with names sometimes if I don't know the band that well, but he's somebody who's worked with Against Me in the past. And then current Against Me drummer, Adam Willard, is the drummer for Devouring Mothers as well, which is really, really awesome. I'm a huge fan of Adam Willard's. I think he's one of the best uh, punk drummers out there right now. So, very excited. Like I said, I've been listening to the album, and the, the new songs they had not released yet for the album have just blown me away. They've been so, so good, and I'm in love with this record. And so I'm hoping that this show, well, I'm sure this show is going to be great. It's a small venue. It's at the Hi-Fi uh, in, in Indianapolis, I believe... I don't know what the capacity is. I'm assuming it's going to be similar to Del Mar Hall in St. Louis, which is the other really small venue that I've been to. It holds less than a thousand people, so I'm uh, hoping it's going to be similar to that. Uh, I'm I'm currently very early. <laughs> it's four o'clock. The doors open at eight o'clock, and I'm getting ready to head out of town. It takes about two hours for me to get to Indianapolis, so. Factoring in my 30-minute stop for, for dinner, I'm assuming that I will be there about an hour before the doors open, which will give me a really good good uh, spot, hopefully, uh, in the uh, in the pit. Uh, I'd, I'd love to get front row. That would be awesome. So expect some concert clips, hopefully uh, from a good location. And um, it's also... The Hi-Fi is also a bar, I think. So... I might be able to just, like, have a couple drinks in there instead of, like, sitting in my car for an hour. So that would be nice. Anyway, I, I think I'm going to wrap this wrap this little part of the video up right now. Uh, I will see you guys with some concert clips of Laura Jane Grace and the Devouring Mothers. Feels like it might never be all right or warm again. Son of mine, you won't always be so bright. Teach you some of my small ways to treat the dark and keep it light. Another nightmare in a mirror. So, I'm to be 
guys so um it's actually been a little bit since i left the show uh the parking situation was terrible that's the only bad thing of the night was the parking situation i drove around indianapolis for like 30 minutes looking for a parking spot it was just nuts um i mean it, w it wasn't that busy it's just that area does not have good parking there are like one or two small lots that are free but there's not even any paid garages around the area. So I ended up parking on the street, which was free, but uh, I was terrified that my car was gonna get towed because I didn't know if there was like some secret limit that I didn't know about, because I couldn't find any meters. And I'm just like, <laughs> throughout the show, I'm crossing my fingers that my car doesn't get towed or ticketed. And I come out and sure enough, everything's fine. So <laughs> that was great. The show itself was fantastic. I loved everything about that venue except for the, the parking situation. It's actually a uh, capacity of 125, I think, is the uh, capacity. That's what I saw when I uh, got to the show. So it's a very small venue, and apparently it used to be a lot smaller. They've since like expanded it over the last couple of years, but it's a great, great venue. Uh, fairly new, very good sound the overall vibe of the place was good it was modern had a lot of great craft beer which i love i, I love beer and uh they had all kinds of really good craft beer so i tried one of the local local beers uh, it, it was it was all right it was a little watery uh, it was a cream ale which is you know i i like ales more than ipas ipas are really popular nowadays but IPAs are so bitter that I like them, but I like ales better and other types of beer better. Anyway, so I had a really good beer and had a really good time at the shows. So Corey Brannon uh, was up first. He was the opening act. And he has a much more country vibe to his music, as you can probably tell from the clips that I included. He does have a very... Or he, he does have an accent, and he is from, I think he's from Memphis. I'm not positive, though. But I know he's from there, but he's not straight-up country. He's got some punk and rock influences as well, which is what made me uh, really enjoy his show. He put on a great show. He was very energetic, interacted with the crowd very well. 
um, told a lot of stories about his his music and his songs. And I really enjoyed it. He also he played uh, he played the both electric and acoustic guitar without a pick, and he cut like his finger, <laughs> and he made like a bunch of jokes about that. And that was great. I actually almost met him as well. He was at the merch table while I was picking up uh, this awesome t-shirt that I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, but yeah, he was at the merch table and I almost like went up and said hi and got a picture with him. But he was actually talking to a few other people at the time and I didn't really want to bother him. Um, but yeah, se seems like a super nice guy. So, uh, I definitely enjoyed that one. I didn't know, I only knew one of his songs that he played, but I, I ordered his album Mutt, uh, when I ordered, when I pre-ordered the Laura Jane Grace record. So that should be coming in the mail soon. And I'll definitely be checking that out when I get it. It's on vinyl, of course. So that's that. Now, Laura Jane Grace and the Devouring Mothers. <laughs> that's a mouthful of a name, man. I, I loved that show so much. They played for a solid hour and a half, I think. Uh, yeah, their new record is awesome. It is awesome. Like, I could not recommend it more. At, at first, before the last couple days, I really would have been, like, you know, a, a little underwhelmed with the record because, I, for some reason, the songs... The first song, Apocalypse Now and Later, really grew on me really fast, but... The other songs that they had released, it, it took a little while for me to really like them and really enjoy them. But now that I do, I, I, I'm in love with the songs. But the the songs that didn't get released prior to the album uh, being dropped, uh, which actually hasn't happened yet, I've been listening to them because NPR has like an exclusive first listen of their album. So go to NPR to check out their album if you if you would like before the release date if this video even gets up before the release dates on November 9th. So, anyway, really, really enjoy this album a lot. I think I'm going to come back to this one a lot more throughout the end of the rest of this year, and then, of course, in, in upcoming years. I'm really glad that I saw them, and I really want to see them again. I hope they're going to do more tours, especially in the spring, she said uh, she's going to be doing more countrywide tours because right now they're just doing a little tour in the midwest they've got three nights in chicago coming up they had this one in indianapolis they had rock island illinois uh a couple or last night and then um i think they're going to detroit as well uh something like that but anyway uh she, they're gonna do more more dates and i really hope they come back to the midwest i would love there's a great venue in st louis that I think would be awesome that I that I went to see the interrupters at last year. It's called Del Mar Hall. I think that that or the pageant would be an excellent venue to see these guys at. Cause they are they are great in small venues. And the those venues are the Del Mar Hall is my favorite music venue that I've been to so far. It's really small, but it's also really easy to get to and easy to get in and out of. But Oh, my favorite thing about the show, Laura. At the very end of this, at, at the very end of the show, Laura played uh, Cavalier Eternal, which is off of their Against Me's second album, uh, as the Eternal Cowboy. And today is actually tonight, November third, is actually the fifteenth anniversary of the release of As the Eternal Cowboy. And if you don't know, that's one of my favorite Against Me albums. And Cavalier Eternal is like my top five favorite Against Me songs. So it just, I, I got chills. I got, a, I got a short video clip of that song being played. I got chills when she started to play that song. She, she starts telling a story about uh, how tonight was the 15th, 15th anniversary of as, as the Eternal Cowboy. And I'm like, is she going to play Cavalier Eternal or Sink Floor to Sink? Both, both of those songs are two of my favorite Slink Floor to Sink is my favorite Against Me song, and then Cavalier Eternal is in the top five for sure. So I was just giddy when she played that song, and everybody was just singing along and going crazy on that one. So 
that that really solidified the show as just a fantastic show. So I'm gonna stop rambling now. <laughs> I, I as you can tell, I loved tonight's show. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the concert clips. Oh shit! I almost forgot to show you my shirt. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw it because I posted a picture. But there it is, and it's better glory there. This is not a shirt uh, I'm going to be wearing a whole lot out because nudity. Uh, I have zero problem with nudity, but society kind of does. But it says uh, Laura Jane Grace and the Devouring Mothers. I really liked this design. There was another design that I liked. Uh, there's nothing on the back. Another design that I liked that had uh, had like a woman's picture on it, I don't think. It didn't look like Laura. I don't know if like it was supposed to look like her. I, I don't know. But uh, anyway, I kind of liked that one. And um, they had like a, a tour t-shirt just for this tour that had the dates on the back. But I really wasn't a big fan of the artwork on the front of the t-shirt. I liked this one the best, so I picked that one up. And I was also scrapped for cash because they did not have an ATM in this uh, venue and uh, I, I normally buy stuff with my card so I was low on cash anyway I'm gonna shut up because I could literally talk on forever so if you enjoyed this video leave me a like hit that subscribe button down below to stay tuned for all the future content on this channel also leave me your thoughts in the comments about Laura Jane Grace about against me have you heard of her music have you uh, do you like it do you love it do you not like it you know, anything and everything in the comments, and have an amazing night. Bye.